Hello everybody, I'm back again. So I wanted to come in and do a quick video to share this journal that I just finished. I've been working on it for quite some time now. And it's just, um, it's about time I got it done. <laughs> um, so yes, I've been working on various projects. I got two custom orders going on at the same time, uh, putting them together. Um, but yes, but this one, I need to get it out of the way. So this is a nature themed journal and as you can see it kind of got chunky as usual. Um, I used some of this beautiful, um, I think it's called eco uh paper that uh, Ginger gifted to me and I went ahead and sealed it with decoupage and I went ahead and added this image and I just tore around the edges. Um, I kind of left it as is, I wanted to put a, uh, some kind of trim here but I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> I asked my husband, what do you think? So I don't know. I kind of like it as is, so I left it alone. I played with everything I had. I didn't approve of anything, but I love the way it turned out. So here we go. I just went ahead and used seam binding for the closure. I didn't um, add any um, eyelids or anything. So here we go. This is a one signature journal. There's another beautiful page again that Ginger gifted to me. She just made an awesome um, kit that I was hoping she would uh, put it up on Etsy and she didn't because I would love to have that because these are the last pages I have. I did three journals with them, which I still have two somewhere back there that I'm, I'm uh, still working on. And then... Um, this is one of them but like I said you know I hope she puts them in her shop because beautiful paper love the colors the browns the greens and she just made a fantastic job anyways enough of that penny <laughs> so here is of course one of my book page pockets and I went ahead and used various ephemeras which I probably well ephemera kits which I probably will not remember who all of them are but um um, here is one. I know this is from Artsology. Um, these are some cute little bunnies. Of course they go in nature theme. But I don't know. can't remember where I got that one from. And then this one here. Um, this is a set of uh, cute little tags. I'm trying to say that's from... You know what? Forget it. <laughs> and I just went ahead and did a little bit of collaging in the front. And then on here, again, another one of my book pages. And again, I did some collaging there. Little bird I cut out of a book. And let me put it down. I'm trying to put it close so you guys could see all the fun stuff. This is from Artsology. So whatever I could remember, I'll say. <laughs> and then I have these two pieces there. should keep it up because I'm moving the camera and see how long it takes for me to get tired or my back starts kicking in and then in the front I have these two pieces this cute little ticket I think I got that one from Pinterest this one as well so those go there here this is one of my uh, pieces of ephemera that I have in one of my kits it's from 1926 On this side, I just made a cute little pocket. I think I showed these before. It was a piece of, uh, let's see if I can get it out. It's a piece of uh, cardstock that I just made a pocket. I just made a fold up, and then on here, I went ahead and added a little, those uh, little paper bags that you get at um, Michael's or Joann's. So you got the tuck in the back, and the tuck inside the little paper bag. Okay, I'm going to have to put the book down. This piece of ephemera. And then... Go in. Go in. Come on. Don't make me suffer. And then on the front, another little piece here of ephemera. And I just added some of this cute trim that I found um, at a thrift store. And then I just added a button and a bow. I thought that was cute just to, to journal in the back and just like a little floating pocket there. 
on here this I used a um, music music um, sheet I just folded it added this piece of uh, I'm trying to say that's from um, from Tsunami Rose this I know this is from the old design shop and then this one I don't know <laughs> I don't know so those just pop in there and then on this side I just did a, uh, put a little um, these labels I purchased them again I can't remember who but I just did some layering on the bottom little pieces of paper and then just added that sticker I printed it on sticker paper and then here is another one of those um, floating pockets um, that I make um, Pop that, put that down a cute little tag and then this large tag so that just pops in there and then a large one in the back pretty paper and that just tucks back in there and um, just plain in the back you can glue it down I left it as a floating pocket and then these are from Shabby Dabby Duda one of her her postcard kits so these just hold with a little paper clip and then on this side I have one of these uh, library cards and these are from Tsunami Rose on this side I saw a video too uh, I think it was well I saw it from Roxy but I think she said the idea came from uh, Tina Shabby Dabby Duda I'm not sure but I got it from Roxy and it's just a uh, little flip thingy that you do out of a book page and you just you know you can glue it down as a tuck and then it would have a I guess a flip I just left it as is I liked it like that on this side you have a pocket and you have a little tag I made that just pops there on this side I did a I put a paper clip because I put one on my book page this was an originally an envelope so I just put it on the side so you open it and you have the little tuck here and you have these two pieces there and then it just closes and then you, I left it open so you could tuck something in the back and that's what's there so these are fun because you can do various things with them and then on the inside it's supposed to be blank so you can journal but you can decorate also if you like oh. let me put that paper clip back so that little flap doesn't open and it just goes around the page so which is awesome because you know you have a page to journal but meanwhile you have something cute to show so that was cute the page that I used those were gifted to me from um, Kathleen so, am I in frame? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. On this side, it's a tag I made um, with leftover pieces from Artology, from one of the kits I used. And then here's a little pocket that I just layered some fabric, some papers, and then just added this cute little piece. I think this is from uh, Christy Art Designs. On this side, there's another pocket. Just went ahead and did some collaging. Got this cute little card there. And then this one. On this side, I think these are from Tsunami Rose. On this side, I just have a little, I used some of this um, ledger paper, just folded it, added a piece of, uh, of paper. This is from uh, one of uh, Tsunami Rose's kits. And then this is from one of my uh, ephemera kits. So that just pops there. I just sewed it so it could just be a little tuck. Here you have space for journaling. Here's another little pocket. Again, did some layering, some trims. Just um, little bits and pieces of various kits. This is from Shabby Dabby Duda. And this is from Marchology. I love this kit because you can mix it with anything and everything. And then this one, I just went ahead and did some 
collaging of papers and then added this little piece. I'm not sure where that one came from. <laughs> this is from Artsology. And then I have this piece of ephemera. Copy. You gotta have copy. On this side again, I have another little tuck. Just went ahead and added a piece of that paper. And that's funny because this paper that I used, I accidentally printed it on cardstock. And um, I guess my paper ran out. I had cardstock in the back. Anyways, I was like, okay, it'll be used for something. Well, it ended up being awesome for these little strip tucks. Um, I think this is from Tsunami Rose. And I think this one is from the old design shop. So yeah, it worked out. When you make mistakes, sometimes it works out. It's good. <laughs> Here's another little tag I had made and I ended up turning it into a tuck. And I was using leftover papers from um, Artsology. And then this one I think came from Christie Art Designs. And then I have this large piece of ephemera that's tucked right in the back. I have some of this um, ledger paper I found at a, a thrift store. And these are, are more of a thin paper, so I didn't add anything to these. I figured you could just use them for journaling. This one as well. So I left those alone. Here we have another cute little side tuck. And I have one of these. It just pops there and then one of these little ones. I had so much fun making this. I feel like I'm coming back to my groove now, you know? Look at that paper, my goodness. Look at that. I love the colors. I need to try and do that. Look at that. That's cute. And that opens, and that's a little piece of ephemera. I said that's cute because I made it, huh? That's funny. <laughs> and then these pieces of ephemera, that tuck in the back. I think this is from the old design shop, if I'm not mistaken. Was it like that? Was it like this? Like that. like that better. Okay, let's try to put it down. Because I'm getting tired. My back's kicking in. I should have brought the, the camera down, but oh well. Too late. I don't want to get you guys all dizzy. Here's another cute little paper bag. And inside I have a cute little tag. And then here I have these two pieces of ephemera. And I just tuck in the back. And then here is some of this um, paper that was gifted to me from um, Kathleen. I don't know if you guys could see. Yeah, it comes out. It's like a grayish, really nice paper. Right there. And this one again, I have another cute little tuck. This one has a lot of these little tucks. <laughs> these, this is from uh, Tsunami Rose. And this one, I'm not sure. I think this is from the old design shop, if I'm not mistaken. And then on here, I have one of those hang um, floating um, pockets that I make. Well, in the back, it's holding these. And they're all blank in the back. And I'm going to take the paper clip because this is the, you guys have seen this before. But this time I went ahead and used some of this awesome paper uh, that I can't remember whose. I didn't put anything in there, but you have an envelope here that you can check secret notes in there, you know, you don't want people to see. And then on here I have a little tuck there, a little pocket tuck. Look at that pretty paper. I should have checked what that paper is from. And then you have these pieces of ephemera in there. So yeah, I can't remember who it is. So that goes there. And then these just tuck on the bottom. There. Here I have one of those little wallet pocket thingies that's uh, just a little bit of collaging and then there's the back and then on the inside I just added these little pieces of ephemera and this one here these are so cute I think these are from uh, Crystal Art Designs a little butterfly there 
Those are so cute to make. Oh, I got pieces of stuff everywhere. So that just pops there. And then on this side, I have a piece of this marble looking paper. I always forget um, the name of it. I've heard it been called different names, so I don't know, but it's this pretty paper. <laughs> and then this is like a tracing paper. And I guess I want it too. <laughs> Here I just have a little book page pocket, and there's another one of those cute tags, and a piece of ephemera. And I did cover that page. Space for journaling. This is the center of the signature. Here I have a large um, tag I made again with the leftover papers from Artsology. I'm trying to remember the name of that kit and it's not coming. I'm hoping by the end of this video I'll remember. Cute little piece of ephemera there, just some layering. I have a corner pocket here and it's just holding a tag from Artsology. And this is I'm not sure where this one's from. I'm trying to say it's from the old design shop. I was going to sew around it. Then I was going to glue it down to just, you know, have it both. But then I thought, well, you could use it to journal on the inside. So I left it alone. I figured whoever owns this journal has space to journal there. So we have these awesome papers. Here I just made uh, a little side tuck with just pieces of uh, leftover papers and then I just backed it with a piece of uh, file folder to make it sturdy and then I added a trim and then you have these two pieces there. So those pop in there. Here is another one of those um, floating pockets again. And this one I just went ahead and collaged on the bottom. And it's just holding these two pieces of ephemera. I like that that has a P. <laughs> On the top, I just added a cute little butterfly, a little label. Oh, and I used some of that uh, paper uh, um, 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 Rachel gave, gifted me from uh, Trace, uh, not Tracy Art, Box, from Roxy Creations. And see, now I forgot the name of the paper. Jesus. Uh, from Tsunami Rose. And that just tucks in there. Have some music sheet paper. Another cute little tuck. Here I have a copy dyed uh, um, guest check. And then this piece of ephemera there. Here I have another little floating pocket again. And on the top we have this cute little piece of ephemera. Here we have a cute little tag. And I just did some collaging on the bottom. In the back we have another pocket. And this was using Tsunami Rose, one of her kits. And then this is a cute little tag that I'm not sure where that one came from. I have a lot of stuff that I've printed out. It was this one. And I can't remember whose they are. So on this side, the paper clip is holding this envelope that I just went ahead. This is an actual envelope. I just went ahead and collaged it. I don't think I put anything inside. No, I did not. But I love the way that turned out. So you could tuck some more secret notes in there. Here, this was a tag. I just went ahead and cut the little jar and put it on the bottom. So cute. Here again is that beautiful paper. Make sure that comes out on the, on the camera. I love it. I'm gonna have to talk to that lady. Here, this is one of the pieces of ephemera from uh, Tsunami Rose. That's from one of her kits. Um, and then it's just holding these pieces of ephemera that I shrunk down. And then this one here. So, I think it went like that. On this side, I have another side tuck again, and I have a postcard. 
some more of this awesome paper. Here is just a paper clip holding one of these um, library cards from Tsunami Rose. And this was just a little booklet thing that I made a long time ago, but I didn't decorate it. So I decorated it and added it to the book. These, again, I don't know who they belong to, the pieces of ephemera. But see, it's just a cute little folder. I thought it was so cute. I just went ahead and, and added some of these uh, pieces of ephemera that I've shrunk down to use as collage. And the paper for this that I use is... Uh, it's, um, okay, I don't remember. These two. I have the worst memory ever when it comes to, to remembering stuff. But anyways, I thought it was so cute. This tiny little thing. So that just pops in there. On this side, I just have this large piece of ephemera. I'm not going to take it out of the paper clip. Where am I? I better hurry up. Here's another pocket that I made. This piece came from um, Pinterest. And I went ahead and layered papers in the back. This one came from Tracy Fox. And then I have this one. I think this one's also from Tracy Fox, one of her kits. I think they're probably from the same kit, if I'm not mistaken. Here I used, there's another tuck. I ended up using one of these pieces. This is a kit I purchased from Journal Centric, which I want to make a journal out of it. But I did use these uh, long, I guess they're um, bookmarks. So I thought it went well to add it to that strip of paper to make it more sturdier. And there's a tuck. And here's a postcard that's just in there. This was gifted to me, gosh, I'm not sure what it is, but it had this paper in there. It has this uh, paper in there and then two, two pieces that look like a, oh my god, I can't remember. Um, it came like that. I'm thinking it's like for a collector's, you know, you put stuff in there, but it only has a paper in the center and then it opens so you can tuck something on the back. So I went ahead and collaged it all around. And then I cut this a little bit thinner so that it would fit there and you could see the rose. But you could add a cute picture. And of course it's not gonna do it because I have one hand only. But yeah, I thought I'd put that there but whoever owns it could add a cute picture of a relative or something themselves. So yeah, that goes there. On this side, we have another little um, book page pocket. I went ahead and added a piece of ephemera here. Ah, I'm not sure where those came from. On the back, this one came from the old design shop. Okay, we gotta put it down. And then it's so fat, you can't even see it well. <laughs> but you have this large piece of ephemera. That just tucks back there. This one here, I think this is from Tracy Fox. And then on the front, these are from the old design shop. And those I just shrunk them down. And here you have space for journaling. Here again, I used another bookmark. And then this piece of ephemera. I think that's from the old design shop. Here, I'm going to have to put it down. I just went ahead and grabbed some paper and just did a little booklet thingy. I used some of this beautiful paper that I can't remember who, it's, who it is. And it's just a little trifold. These tags came from Tsunami Rose. And then I just, I think this is from Roxy. No, Tracy Fox. And this one here. Uh, Tracy box. But yeah, these cute little tags are from Tsunami Rose. There you go. They're so cute. So yeah, I didn't really put anything there because then it's going to make it all 
uh, back, and then it won't close right. So, yeah, so that goes there, that goes there, and it just hangs right here, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I, can't I think it does. Let me try to grab this book back up again. So that goes there. Here we have another little pocket I made out of a book page. Did, did some collaging. This piece came from Tsunami Rose. It was actually a journaling card and I took the writing part off and just kept this piece there. Oh my goodness, it's getting hard to grab this book. And then in here I just have a, a plain um, guest check. For more journaling space. Um, this is what, like a postcard? <laughs> and I think this is from um, the old design shop. And this one too. I want the blue writing to show. So this one. And then on this side, I'm going to have to put it down. This one is a floating pocket again. I have one of these. I think I showed a tiny one in one of the other pages. Ah, it's gonna fall on me. Let's do that. Here again, it says layered some lace paper. Cute little tag. And another large tag I made. This is some washi tape from Tim Holtz. On the back, I have that image. And then you have a, a tag, and these are from Tsunami Rose. So these just pop here with a paper clip. Then on this side, I have another guest check. I just left these plain just for extra space. Actually, I forgot to mention. This one opens, so you have more space for journaling. I forgot to mention that part. <laughs> now let's see if we can do this. And then on here, set the guest check. And then this piece of ephemera from the old design shop. Here, I had this pocket made, I don't know for what, I never used it, found it, popped it in here. This is a nature theme, but I got this little guy, he's cute, he has to go with anything. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so that just pops in here. I have one of these little, <clears throat> I guess it's like a little letter to somebody. Notes. And then this is from Tracy Fox. And then on this side, I went ahead and did some collaging to the little side flap there and added one of these roses. I think these came from um, Tsunami Rose. And just layered various papers. And on here, I have these two pieces of ephemera. Here I have a tuck, but I put it on the top, a corner tuck, and it holds these two pieces of ephemera. So yeah, this, this is a chunky monkey, guys. On this side, I have another pocket. I think that's from the old design shop and I know you saw this one in a larger version and then this one here I'm not sure where that one's from I think you saw this one in a large version <laughs> oh, that's funny a cute little butterfly and a little piece the old design shop of course and then on the back I think this is the back of course I didn't want to cover that. Look at that. 
gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And um, I did not add another pocket here because it's already, as you can see, look at this. So I went ahead and added this large piece of ephemera that just tucks there. But yes, this is a chunky monkey, guys. Look at this. So full of yumminess. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that real quick, guys. Um, I hope everybody's having a good, a good time doing well I am doing much better um, so I will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching and tie this let me tie this keep it closed thank you so much for watching God bless bye bye